Italian multinational military corporation Leonardo is testing the new high-tech European Common Radar System ECRS, MiG-2 at its World War II WDB2, vintage facility in the UK as part of a $2.8 billion, two pounds and 35 pence, upgrading program for British Eurofighter Typhoons. In July, the UK Ministry of Defence announced a $2.8 billion investment plan in new capabilities for the Royal Air Force, RAF, Typhoon aircraft, including the procurement of the state-of-the-art ECRS MiG-2 radar. The ECRS MiG-2 radar is projected to change the Eurofighter Typhoon's air control by providing the fighter jet with world-leading electronic warfare capabilities that will enable it to simultaneously detect, identify and track numerous targets in the air and on the ground. The radar is intended to enable operations in the most demanding scenarios, enabling pilots with the capacity to silence enemy air defenses using high-powered jamming and engage targets from outside the reach of threats. This new state-of-the-art radar system is being tested at Leonardo's Edinburgh location in the UK. The test building is roughly the size of a university lecture hall, hermetically completely with 30-foot-high metal doors and walls coated with foam spikes to assure the accuracy of tests done on the new radar system. The complex was established by British engineering firm Ferranti in 1943 to produce gun sights for the Supermarine Spitfire fighter plane, one of the famous aircraft of World War II which the RAF and several allied countries employed against Nazi Germany. The property is presently controlled by Italian defense contractor Leonardo, following a series of mergers in the defense sector. The ECRS MiG-2 Radar for Typhoons The ECRS MiG-2 is an all-new active electronically scanned array AESA, radar to give typhoons with greater electronic warfare capabilities. It shares no overlaps in hardware with the original Typhoon Captor radar, nor with the other AESA-equipped Captor E derivatives, such as the ECRS MiG-0 for Kuwait and Qatar, or the ECRS MiG-1 for Germany and Spain. However, the new radar will have a common human-machine interface. Apart from the RAF Typhoon, the ECRS MiG-2 will also establish the basis for the next generation of radar which will be mounted in the nose of the proposed fifth-generation Tempest fighter jet. A unique aspect of this radar is that it employs a repositioner situated on a single rotating joint as opposed to the two-swashplate configuration of the Captor E. As Eurasian Times has described before, utilizing a repositioner enables the radar to be tilted on either side allowing a far greater look angle beyond 90 degrees off the centerline of the jet. This can give major tactical benefits in some circumstances, for example, if the fighter has to make a beaming maneuver to elude detection by an opponent fighter. Beaming requires a fighter moving 90 degrees away, perpendicular, to an enemy's pulse Doppler radar array, which employs a Doppler shift to assess a target's relative velocity. It filters out the low relative velocity items, including ground clutter and the beaming fighter, which are not moving towards or away from the enemy radar. This is a good approach when the radar is positioned at a higher altitude than the beaming aircraft and seeking to lock on its target in a look-down shoot-down scenario when ground clutter is widespread. Whereas, in the case of a normally fixed AESA radar or mechanically scanned array, Completing a beaming maneuver would imply the fighter jet is losing its radar picture of the opponent it is trying to dodge. In the absence of third-party sensors sending this data to the beaming fighter via a data connection, its pilot loses sight of the tactical situation when it is most essential. Even worse is that any radar-guided missile fired from the now-beaming aircraft will not be able to give mid-course upgrades those missiles' odds of killing will drop, particularly if launched initially at a great range. This is where a repositioner comes in, which can direct the radar antenna on either side, allowing a significantly broader sensor field of vision, 
and enabling decreased detectability due to better situational awareness for the pilot in case of beaming movements. The flying tests of the ECRS MiG-2 on board a Eurofighter test aircraft are anticipated to take place in the last quarter of 2023, with the objective to realize the initial operating capability, IOC, by 2030. The selected test bid Typhoon CSK-355 is presently at BAE Systems Wharton site completing preparations. The prototype ECRS MiG-2 radar is planned to be delivered to Wharton by the end of 2022, and a comprehensive system critical design evaluation will be completed for the production radar.